Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you never miss out on any of my videos. In today's video, I am going to make this beautiful cozy granny cocoon cardigan. I will explain shortly what we are going to do to make this cardigan. So step 1, we need to make the granny square motif which is fairly beginner friendly. So after you have one motif, you need to make 4 such motifs in total. So make 3 more. And when you have all four of them, we need to sew them together. So first, join motif 1 and 2 with the help of a mattress stitch. Sew them together using mattress stitch, which is really very simple. And then sew 3 and 4 motif together. Now when you have those two pieces joined, we will join all four of them together, again using a mattress stitch. Then we need to fold them vertically, leaving the arm holes, leaving the openings for our hands for the arm holes and then we will sew the sides together. And then when you're done with the sides, you need to do the ribbing. And that's it. So let's begin. So to make the motif, we start by making a slip knot. And you can do this in whichever way you prefer. When you have a slip knot, chain 4. Make a slip knot in that first chain, making a loop to work with, like that. Now chain 3, yarn over twice, insert hook in that hole. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Again, two loops on your hook, yarn over twice. Insert in that hole, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So we have made our first three treble cluster. Now chain five. And again, make a 3 treble cluster in that center space. Yarn over twice. Insert. Pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Stop. Again, yarn over twice. Insert. Pull through two. And again, pull through two. And repeat this once more to get that third treble for our cluster. Now again chain 5 and repeat this 3 more times to get 5 3 treble clusters and chain 5 space for round 1. So here I am done with my 5 clusters and chain 5. Now go ahead and slip stitch on top of that first treble cluster. Now for round 2, I'm changing colors and you can do this in whichever way you prefer. I usually tie a knot to make it more secure. So here I've tied a knot in that chain 5 space. Now go ahead and pull up a loop and chain 1. Make a single crochet like so. Make 
six more single crochets in that chain five space so in total you have seven single crochets in that chain five space Once you have 7 single crochets, go ahead in that next chain 5 space and make 7 single crochets. Now repeat this in all chain 5 spaces, so in total you should have 35 single crochets. Here I am done with all my single crochets, now go ahead and slip stitch in that first single crochet, like so. Now for round 3 I am not changing colors, so just chain 1. And make a single crochet in that next chain. And then make 5 more single crochets in the next 5 chains. So in total 6 single crochets. And then in that 7th space make an increase. Single crochet increase means 2 single crochets in that same stitch like so. Now again 6 single crochets and an increase. Third single crochet, fourth, five, six, in that seventh space make two single crochets. So go ahead and repeat that all the way around and slip stitch in that first single crochet that you have done. After slip stitching in that first single crochet, chain 1, pull the yarn and snip it off. I'm changing colors for round 4, switching to white again. Here I'm with white, now chain 4. And double crochet in that same stitch. The chain 3 is considered as our first double crochet and chain 1 is for the space. So here we have two double crochets and in between chain 1 space. Now skip a chain and double crochet in the next chain 1 and double crochet in the same stitch. So we're making V stitches here. Now skip a stitch and double crochet, chain 1 and double crochet in the same stitch. Just like so. So go ahead and finish this round with V stitches and meet me back when you're at the end. So here I'm left with 3 stitches. Now I'm going to finish one last V stitch in that second last stitch. Chain 1, double crochet. And slip stitch in that third chain of our V stitch. Chain 1, pull the yarn and snip it off. So for round 5, I'm again going to switch to grey. But if you're not going to switch colors, you don't have to worry about where you're going to place your hook. But if you are like me, you have to place your hook in between those V stitches like I have. Like so. Now chain 1. And make a single crochet in that same space between those V stitches. Now chain 2. Like so. 
like that and make a single crochet again in between those V stitches again we are going to chain two and again place a single crochet in between those V stitches now go ahead and repeat this all across all around the round placing single crochets in between those V stitches so here I'm at the end of round five and now I'm slip stitching on top of that first single crochet like so chain one snip of the yarn so here I'm again switching colors and placing my hook in the single crochet space don't place your hook in the chain two space but if you're not changing colors you don't have to worry about where to place your hook now again chain one and make a single crochet on top of that single crochet from the round below just like so now in that chain two space make a half double crochet and a double crochet in that chain two space and again a half double crochet in that same space so a half double a double and again a half double in that chain two space now again on top of that single crochet make a single crochet so for absolute beginners who are new to crochet half double crochet is yarn over insert pull through all three loops that's a half double crochet double crochet is yarn over pull through two again yarn over pull through two so here I have made my half double double and double in that chain two space again on top of that single crochet I'm making a single crochet so repeat that and meet me back when you are at the end of this round so you'll end by making a half double a double crochet and a half double in the last chain two space and then make a slip knot on top of that single crochet that we first made just like that now chain one pull the yarn and snip it off now for round seven I am placing my hook on top of the single crochet from the round below and I'm switching to the gray color again now to start round seven chain three chain three is considered as a double crochet now in the next stitch on top of the half double crochet we make a half double crochet again right there then on top of that double crochet from the round below we make a single crochet again on top of the half double crochet we make a half double crochet just like so now on top of the single crochet make a double crochet again a half double crochet on top of the half double crochet from the round below a single crochet on top of the double crochet and a half double on top of the half double and a double on top of the single crochet remember on top of 
the double crochet you're supposed to make a single crochet on top of the single crochet you're supposed to make a double crochet so go ahead and repeat this all around round seven and meet me back when you're at the end so I'm at the end of round seven and I'm slip stitching on top of that chain three chain one and sniff the yarn to begin round eight changing colors again back to white and to start we chain three chain three is considered as our first double crochet of the round go ahead and make one more double crochet in that next stitch make seven more double crochets in the next seven stitches so in total you should have nine double crochets So when you have nine double crochets considering that chain three is our first double crochet we make two double crochets in the next stitch so you have nine and now in that next stitch make two double crochets so we're increasing by one in the tenth space just like so now again make nine double crochets and an increase in the next chain so nine double crochets in the next nine stitches and when you reach at the end after the nine double crochets make two double crochets in that tenth space that's my ninth double crochet now in that next stitch we make two double crochets just like so so we are increasing in every tenth space you can see I've increased there after nine stitches again again a double crochet increase so do this all around the round and meet me back when you're at the end to make it more easier I go ahead and place stitch markers in every tenth space so that I don't have to count every time. Stitch markers are really really helpful and I highly recommend it if you are new to crochet. So I will go ahead and finish this round and be right back. So here I am at the end of my round and I am left with this last stitch where I am going to put an increase of double crochet meaning two double crochets in that same stitch so here I'm at the end of the round and I'm going to slip stitch but sometimes it's really difficult to get the hook in that chain so I use a smaller hook to finish my slip stitch like you can see I'm using a smaller hook and finishing that slip stitch just like so now chain one and pull the yarn and just cut the yarn and we are at the end of our round so this is how our work looks like so far and now we are going to change this circular motif into a square motif because that's what we need for our cozy cocoon cardigan so for that I'm changing colors again changing to gray 
Now to begin round 9, we chain 1 and make a single crochet in that same space. And go ahead and mark that first single crochet. Now go ahead and make 6 more single crochets in the next 6 stitches. So that's my seventh single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven single crochets in total. Now in the next three stitches, go ahead and make three half double crochets. Second half double crochet. And that's my third half double crochet. So seven single crochets and three half double crochets. Now in the next stitch make a double crochet. And in the next stitch make a double crochet. Chain five. And in that same stitch make one more double crochet. So that is our corner. So in every corner you'll repeat the same thing. Now in the next stitch make one more double crochet. So you can see the corner forming. Now in the next three stitches make three half double crochets. Now in the next six stitches, make six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and that's my sixth single crochet. So that's our first corner. Now repeat that same thing all around. In total, you'll be doing this four times. So you've done one time, now the second time. Repeating from the beginning, we make seven single crochets. So here we have our side with single crochets. Now make three half double crochets. That's my first half double. Next stitch will be again a half double and another half double. So in total three half doubles. Now in the next stitch make a double crochet. And now in the next stitch make a double crochet. Again chain five. And another double crochet in that same space. So we formed another corner. Now again a double crochet in the next stitch. Now three half double crochets. In the next three stitches. Now six single crochets in the next six stitches. Oops. So that's all you need to do for this round. So we have made two corners. Now go ahead and make two more corners and meet me back. So here I am done with three half double crochets in the end. Now I will finish this round with six single crochets. That's my fifth single crochet, sixth single crochet now. 
and now go ahead and slip stitch on top of that single crochet that you made just like so chain one and time to change the yarn now to begin round 10 if you're not changing colors then you don't need to worry about where to place the hook but if you are changing colors here's where you need to put your hook and start round 10 so I've put my hook in the 13 chain from the left. So count your stitches from the left and count them 13th. So in the 13th chain place your hook. If you're counting from the right side it's the 11th stitch. So go ahead and put the hook inside that stitch. Make sure you're counting the stitches properly it's the 13th stitch from the left and the 11th stitch from the right and I am going to change colors now switching to white again and now to begin round 10 we will chain 1 and make 3 single crochets beginning in the same space so in that same space make one single crochet go ahead and mark it if you want like I have now in the next two stitches again two single crochets just like that now in the next three stitches make three half double crochets one second half double crochet and now the third half double crochet just like so so three singles and three half doubles and now you're remaining with seven stitches on this side so go ahead and make seven double crochets in those seven stitches before you reach your chain five space I'm left with two now two double crochets so I'm done with seven double crochets here now in that chain five space I am going to do seven more double crochets in that chain five space itself so all in that chain five space make seven double crochets So as you can see I am slowly and steadily switching to the other side of the square. Make sure you're counting the stitches so that you don't have less stitches than you are supposed to. Now in that next stitch make another double crochet and we need more six double crochets in the next six stitches. So we are on the other side of the square now. So go ahead and make seven double crochets in those first seven stitches after chain five. So here I'm done with seven double crochets as you can see. Now in the next three stitches I am going to do three half double crochets and now you'll repeat what you did from the beginning three single crochets three half doubles seven doubles seven doubles in the chain five seven doubles and again finishing with three half doubles So here I'm left with one corner and I just finished my three half double crochets. I'm left with seven stitches where I will make seven double crochets. So go ahead and make seven double crochets before that chain five space. Now 
like so. Now in that chain 5 space, make 7 double crochets. Make sure you're counting the stitches, 7 double crochets. Now in this next 7 stitches, make 7 double crochets again. 1 in each stitch. Now I'm left with three half double crochets and I will place my last three half double crochets in those three stitches and this will be the end of our round 10. So go ahead and place a slip stitch in that first single crochet stitch, chain one and cut the yarn. Now for round 11, go ahead and place your hook in the center stitch amongst those 7 double crochets you have in the corner and I like to go ahead and place stitch markers in every corner stitch. You'll know why in just a moment. So I'm placing the hook in the center stitch like I said and I'm changing the yarn, switching to the gray color. As you can see, I have put the yarn in that center stitch and I'm making a knot and now to begin round 11 I will chain 4 this chain 4 is considered as our first double crochet and chain 1 Go ahead and make one more double crochet in that same space. Now make one chain and one more double crochet in that same space. So in every corner you will do the same thing. A double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Next we'll skip two stitches and make a double crochet in the next one then chain one and one more double crochet in the same stitch. Again we'll skip two stitches and make a double crochet and chain one and a double crochet in that same stitch. So you'll repeat this all around except for the corners. I'm zooming in and showing it to you once again. Skip two stitches and make a double crochet in the next, chain one and a double crochet in the same stitch. So we're making V stitches and in the corners we are making two V stitches together like you can see. So whenever you reach this, these stitch markers, you're supposed to make two V stitches. In every corner, make two V stitches. So go ahead and make V stitches all around and meet me back when you're done with round 11. And here I am at the end of round 11 and as you can see I have placed two V stitches in every corner and this motif has turned into a square motif now. Moving on to round 12, place your hook in that chain 1 space and attach your yarn.
Now chain three, make two more double crochets. Chain three is considered as a double crochet, so in total we have three double crochets in that chain one space. Now make three double crochets in that other chain one space. So all you need to do is make three double crochets in every chain one space. So go ahead and make it till you get to the corner and I will meet you there. So here I am at the corner where we have two V stitches. So for that you have to do three double crochets in that chain one space and then chain two and make three more double crochets in that other chain one space. So for the corner you need to do three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets. So here I am in the last corner space so you will make three double crochets in that first chain one space and then two chains and then again three double crochets Now for the sides, just 3 double crochets in every chain 1 space. After completing those three double crochets in the last chain one space, go ahead and slip stitch in that third chain of chain three, you know, chain one and cut the yarn. To begin round 13, place your hook in between those three double crochets and tie a knot if you're changing colors. Now to begin round 13, chain 3 and make 2 more double crochets in the same space between those 3 double crochets. Now in between the next 3 double crochets place 3 more double crochets. Just like so. 3 double crochets between the 3 double crochets below. And when you reach the corner space, the chain 2 space, you will make 3 double crochets. Chain 2. And again, three double crochets in that same chain two space. Just like so. And now repeat three double crochets in every space. And remember, when you reach the corner, make three double crochets chain 2 and 3 double crochets in that corner chain 2 space. So I'm making 3 more double crochets in that same chain 2 space. And now continue making 3 double crochets in between those 3 double crochets from the round below. Go ahead and finish this round 13 and meet me back when you are done.
So here I am done with round 13. Go ahead and slip stitch on top of that chain 3. After round 13, this is how our work looks. Now repeat round 13 until you reach round 21. Make sure you put 3 double crochets, chain 2 and 3 double crochets in the corners. If you have used two colors like I have, you should enter with the gray color on round 21. So go ahead and finish until you have all the rounds ready and I'll meet you back. Here I'm done with 21 rounds and I'm making a medium size cardigan so I have made 21 rounds but if you want a smaller or a bigger cardigan you can follow the number of rounds displaying on the screen right now. And my motif measures about 19.5 inches for the size medium. And we need to make 4 such motifs for the cardigan. So go ahead and make 4 of them and weave in all the ends. And I will meet you back. So here I have weaved in all the ends and I have 2 of my motifs on the table right now facing up right side facing up. Now we are going to sew them together. To do that, sandwich the right side of the motifs together like so. So place the right sides together and once you do that the wrong sides are facing up and the right sides are inside and now go ahead and align both the pieces together properly and if need be use stitch markers like I'm using so first of all go and uh, put that stitch marker in the corner stitch you're supposed to put the stitch marker in the corner stitch which is closest to the side you are going to sew. So the chain 2 which is there in the corner, put a stitch marker in one of those chains facing or closest to the side you are going to seam. Just like that. You can also place more stitch markers in order to align all the stitches. I highly recommend this if you are a beginner. Now go ahead and cut a long piece of yarn. I'm taking more than twice the length of the side I'm going to sew and put it through a darning needle. Now put that needle through both the stitches in one of the corners and tie a knot. So remove that stitch marker, put it through both those stitches. You are supposed to take both the loops of that stitch. Now put it through and be careful and tie a knot. Just like so. Now put the needle in that next loop or next stitch. Remember you are supposed to take both the loops of both the stitches just like that. So we are going to simply seam both the sides by using the mattress stitch and we are going to take both the loops of both the sides of the motifs. So take both those loops on one stitch and on the other stitch. Just 
just like so make sure the stitches are aligned properly and make sure you are taking the same stitches from up and from below go ahead and finish seaming the sides of these two motifs and in the same manner sew the sides of the other two motifs just like you will do for these two and meet me back So I am done seaming all the sides of the four motifs and now we shall seam them up together. To do that we will seam them exactly like we did before. Right now I have the right sides facing up so we will sandwich them together like we had done like that. So the wrong sides are facing up. And now we seam these pieces together horizontally using the mattress stitch. So here I am done with seaming the horizontal pieces of the cardigan together. As you can see we have a flat edge. Now let's seam the sides of the cardigan. So leave the wrong side of the cardigan as it is, don't flip it yet. And align the, the pieces properly so that we can measure the armholes and seam the rest of it. So flipping it to the sides of those pieces, working with wise. Now we will leave the place for our, our uh, armholes. So I am leaving about 8 inches. So counting those 3 double crochet clusters that we have done, I am leaving 8 of them. As you can see it's approximately 8 inches. And this is a medium size cardigan. So count those clusters leaving 8. I am marking the stitch after the 8th cluster. The 8th one. So in the beginning of the ninth cluster I have put my stitch marker. So I will be seaming from the ninth to the bottom of that piece. As you can see, I've put stitch markers. So let's sew them together by using the mattress stitch just like we did before. So leaving the armhole so that we can wear the cardigan properly. Eight clusters. As you can see I have left eight of them. Make sure you have the right amount of stitches and align them properly. Use as many stitch markers as you need to get th these things right. So again, by using your joining needle, insert the needle, tie a knot and simply make mattress stitch all across. And repeat this on the other side of the cardigan as well. Do the same thing, leave 8 inches prox or 8 3 double cro crochet clusters and repeat the same thing on the other side. 
Once you have seen the sides of the cardigan leaving the armholes, let's do the ribbing and the cuffs of the cardigan. To do the ribbing on the horizontal edge of the cardigan, I'm using a 5mm hook. And note that I have already flipped the cardigan inside out. So I have the right sides facing up. Now insert your hook from the outside in any of the stitch on the horizontal edge of the cardigan. So we have to put our hook from the outside and put it inside that cardigan in that stitch. Now tie a knot and chain two. So chain two is considered as our first half double crochet of the ribbing. Now go ahead and make half double crochet in each stitch across the edge and meet me back. So here I am at the end of round 1 of my horizontal ribbing and you should have total of 248 half double crochets at the end of this round. Now go ahead and slip stitch on top of that chain 2 to end round 1. Here I am slip stitching and ending round 1. To begin round 2, chain 2 and make half double crochets in back loop only for this round. So yarn over and put your hook in that back loop that we that you see those two loops pick that back loop. I hope you can see so yarn over put the hook in that back loop and make a half double crochet. So go ahead and do half double crochets in back loop only for a total of 4 rows in total. So this is our first row. So we need 3 more rounds or rows. So here I am done with 4 rows of half double crochets back loop only. And you can see this, this beautiful pattern it has given us for the ribbing. So I have slip stitched on my round 5. So 4 rows of half double crochets back loop only and the first round that we did was only plain half double crochets. Once we are done with the horizontal edging we move on to the cuffs and we are going to give the same sort of a design for the cuffs as well. So insert your hook from outside and tie a knot with the new yarn like so and in the same manner make two chains these two chains are our first half double crochet and make half double crochet all across round one So to end the round 1 for the cuffs ripping, we slip stitch in that chain 2 space and for round 2 we do the same that we did for the horizontal edging. We do half double crochets in back loop only for round 2. So we did 5 rows total for the horizontal edging but for the cuffs we are just going to do 2 rows. One will be a normal half double crochet and the other will be half double crochet in back loop only. So as you can see, I am putting my hook in that back loop and making half double crochets simply just like so. So go ahead and finish round 2 and meet me back. So to end round 2, I slip stitched on top of that chain 2, chained 1 and now cut the yarn and 
your first cuff is ready and similarly do the same on the other armhole. So that's all we need to do to make this cardigan. I have tried my best to explain it in the easiest way possible. I hope this video tutorial was easy to understand. But if you have any sort of questions, do leave a comment below. And thank you so much for watching.